This video is for day one in the series for 30 days of code. I've already solved this and we have the instructions here on the left of my screen. When you begin this challenge, you're going to have some code that you can't touch. A part of this code includes some variables that they are declaring and initializing for you. So the first one here is an int variable with the value 4. Here they have this double called D, it's 4.0. And then here they have this string, hacker rank, and the string is called S. Below that is where we need to write our code. And the first instruction is that we need to declare three variables. The first one is an integer. The second one is a double and the third one is a string. So that's what we have here. I'm calling them integer X, double X, and then string X. The next thing is we need to read three lines of inputs and initialize our three variables. So here I'm using C in and in the single statements, I'm initializing both my numeric variables here, my int and my double. So you can see here, I have a single line and then I'm calling C in dot ignore because I want to ignore the new line character so that I can read a full line of text and store the value inside of string X. This is the get line function here. So they want us to add up the value for I here with our own integer value. So here I have a single line. I have this C out statements because I want to print some values on the console and I'm adding up I with my own int variable. Then I do the same thing for my double variable. But for this one, they want us to print it to a scale of one decimal place on a new line. So I have D plus double X and then end line here. But here I have set precision because I want only one digit after the decimal point. And then I have this fixed flag to force a single digit to display after decimal points. Once this is done, we can concatenate our strings together, which is their own string that they are calling S and our string here string X. For this challenge, when you concatenate, you don't need to add any addition operator or anything because the strings already come with spaces. So that's it for the code. I'm going to submit it right away. We have two test cases and we've passed both of them. So that's it for day one of 30 days of code on HackerRank. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.